the Russians invaded Afghanistan and seized control, Amanullah Haiderzad was considered that nation's leading artist and teacher of art. Under Soviet control, he said many of the members of the intellectual community were forced to promote the communist ideology. He told me refusal carried serious consequences. Like a thousand other intellectual people, professors, uh, engineer, teacher, was sent to the prisoner and be killed. Haiderzad decided to flee the country with his wife and two children. The Russians had already destroyed one of his major artworks, and before he left, he destroyed the rest. In disguise, he made his way through the Khyber Pass into Pakistan and eventually to the United States. He said the resistance of the freedom fighters goes on and that 80 to 85 percent of the land is controlled by Afghans who are dedicated in their fight. Afghan people hope and fight for their rights, for independence and self-determination. Even if one Afghan lives, they will fight for their rights and freedom. Haiderzad designed a medallion which he hopes to have struck into smaller medallions to raise money for the freedom fighters. This is my idea, it's my project, but I don't know how much it will cost and how much I can find uh, this uh, grant or somehow to do it. One of his pieces of sculpture will be enlarged and placed on exhibition at the Gathering of Artists to be held in Lancaster Square September 18th. Bill Saylor, News Center 8.